Last sip of hot chocolate before jumping into Santa's sleigh. Oh no! A festive mood burglar? Nah, it's just Emma, one of our 13 types of people during Christmas. Ah, such a shame Halloween is over now. Isn't it, Emily? Well, what do we have next? Hey, Christmas is right around the corner. Time to get ready. Chop, chop. Hooray, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Hey girls, what's up? Why are you so surprised? We have to set everything up early, right? Yeah, who cares, it's November 1st. You're totally missing the point. Madison sure thinks you went a little over the top this time, Emily. But you know, you do you. If you want, you can enjoy Christmas the whole year round. What do you think, Emily? Looks great. Hello, Miss Teacher. So glad you decided to join us. What do you think of our Christmas tree? Hmm, what's going on? Why is she looking at it like it's decorated in spelling mistakes? Wow, that's what we call being prepared for anything. Once a teacher, always a teacher, it seems. It's time for the Christmas tree inspector to do her work. Come girls, take a close look. These two decorations are two centimeters too far to the left. What is this? Plastic or glass? Let's put it near the bottom. Here's a little notebook she filled out with various decorating templates. See? The one on the photo is good while ours... Seems some people will never get their minds off work. Ready to wrap your presents in the most creative ways, girls? Hey Madison, why don't you show our viewers how it's done? Just take some very blunt scissors and a lot of mangled tape. Don't glue your hands together. Ribbon? There's got to be a ribbon in there somewhere. But hey, good enough. Looks like it's been packed by a rapid cat. Good job. Yes, totally. It's Jessica's turn now. Take a 60 centimeter roll of wrapping paper, measure to the size, divide by 90 degree angle, add square root of seven to the power of two thirds of a pie. Well, girls, you both put a lot of heart into your creations. Isn't effort what counts the most? Wakey, wakey, Emily. Do you know what day it is? Could it really be that time of year? Yes, 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 yes. She's so loud, Jacob came to check what's going on. Watch out for the cappuccino. Don't worry, Jacob, it's just a solid case of Christmas fever. A crazy elephant herd has nothing on this Christmas spirit. Wow, Madison, it's snowing. Oh, hi, Emily, what's up? Christmas is up and down, up and down. Holy schmoly, it's like a festive earthquake went through. And there she goes again. Maybe you should stay inside, Madison, and wait till she gets tired. You better watch out. You better not cry. Better not make a sound. We're telling you why. Emma's coming to get you, Santa. She's setting a trap and checking it twice. She's going to make use of that clever device. Emma's coming to get you, Santa. She knows what you like eating. She knows when you'll be there. She knows that you might hurt your head, but you know she doesn't care. Just the final touch, the classic box on a stick. All we have to do is wait. Someone's got some midnight munchies and couldn't resist a cookie. Footsteps coming closer. Pull! Let's check who's our catch. Jacob? You ruined our perfectly good trap. Stop panicking, you dumbo. Jacob, get out. Shoo, shoo. Ah, he messed everything up. Okay, all set. Let's start over again. Wow, Emma, don't you think it's getting late already? Huh? Oh no, overslept. 
Aww. A gift from Santa himself. And a cute little note attached. What is it? It's an alarm clock, so you never oversleep again. Well, dear Santa, don't think she'll let you off so easily next time. Okay guys, what do you say we open up the presents now? Adam seems to have something else in mind. Well, come on now. Adam, aren't you going? Are you still hungry for a little something extra? Wow, you're working those leftovers like a real food wizard. You are not gonna let all that deliciousness end up in the trash no matter what. Hey, Jess and the others are calling you. Whoa, a sandwich extraordinaire. How did he manage to get a bun so long? Jess has got to do something about this. Yes, we also think the size is about right. Should she just hold it like this? Are you for real? How much can you actually fit in your stomach? It's going like on a conveyor belt. Oh boy, this is gonna end with a serious case of tummy ache. But you know what? We can allow it on Christmas. Munch away. Good morning, Jessica. Or is it still good night? Wow, that's an early hour. But who can sleep with all this festive excitement on their minds? Quick, wake everyone up. Wakey, wakey. Stop touching our faces. Did you turn into a cat or something? What's going on? Oh, that's it? Presents? Talk about impatience. Just give them a break. It's five o'clock in the morning. Is she for real? Ugh. They're going back to bed? Guys, aren't we supposed to? Oh, well, okay then. Jessica will wait for you. Look how happy she is. You're a mean one, Madison. You keep staring at your phone. And while the girls are all unpacking their lovely gifts, you're laughing. <laughs> Christmas fun. Oh my goodness, it's like an ambulance siren in stereo. She's definitely not in the mood. Maybe you can change her mind, girls. Hey, Madison. Merry Christmas. Okay, that's enough for this Christmas grump. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho to you, Santa. Let's see what we got here. Yes, yes, that's exactly what she needed. And as soon as the mishap came into play, Madison's heart grew three times that day. One, two, three. Merry Christmas! Can Jess open up first? Okay, gently now with that ribbon. Watch out for that tape and fold it right back nicely. Be careful, if you mess it up, you won't be able to reuse it later. Aw, a twister? That's such a great present. Okay, cool, now what, what, what? How did she get so much paper out of that? Skates? Just what she always wanted. Thank you, Jess. I see your knights of furball and cast you a pepperoni secret. Your move, Jacob. Wait, wait, Joshua's got an idea. You can't have a Christmas dinner without some carol singing, right? What a jolly atmosphere. Some people just don't know when to stop, eh? Come on, Joshua, your turn. Let's get back to playing. It's like he's stuck in a loop or something. Awkward. This situation definitely needs some drastic measures. Oh, Joshua, where are you now? They tied you to a chair and left you in the garage. Not exactly nice of them, don't you think? Well, at least now you can sing to your heart's desire. Merry Christmas to all the persistent singers. 
time to unpack your gifts. On the first day of Christmas, Adam gave to Jess a golden necklace, no less. Goodness, really? Oh, Adam, that's really generous of you. It's absolutely stunning. Okay, now Jess will... What? Do you have something else? Wasn't the necklace enough? Right, why not? What is it? An iPhone. Holy smokes. Oh boy, talk about being overwhelmed. Okay, Jess will... Wait, that's not all? It's two tickets to Bahamas. She never knew you would go on such a crazy spending spree, Adam. Well, now it's your turn. Hope you like it. Merry Christmas to you too. Maybe. It's a set of aftershave. Next time you need a set of Christmas budget, guys. But for now, enjoy your trip to the Bahamas. So lucky. So nice of Mrs. Doobie to come to your class's Christmas party, guys. It's that one time of year when teachers can let their hair down a little and just be themselves. Look at that little gingerbread man. <laughs> just like my grandma used to make. What happened? Why is she crying? Oh, she's just happy to relieve those old warm memories. Leave her be, guys. Look at these two living in the moment. What a wonderful scene. Isn't this just sweet? Miss Doobie sure thinks so. And there she goes again, overwhelmed by emotions. It's okay, guys. That's what happens when you're bottling them up for a whole year. She should consider watching more romantic comedies or something. You know, for therapeutic reasons. Thanks, Adam. You're very thoughtful. Three, two, one. Merry Christmas! What? Again? Miss Doobie, haven't you had enough? Adam's got to take care of you like a little moody baby. That jar is almost completely full already. Here's a new one. Let's add this to the whole wardrobe of Miss Doobie's tears. Maybe they make a good tea. Merry Christmas, girls. Enjoy your Christmas presents. Are you opening them up already? Well, there's one person still missing. Oh, Jacob. 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 Well, that sure ain't working. Guess Emily has to go and personally drag him out of bed. Wake up, sleepy head. You're no bear to be hibernating in winter. <laughs> nope. Won't pull him out of snooze mode even with a herd of horses. Let him be, girls. Wow, a camera. So cool. Ready to get up, Mr. Bear? Think 14 hours of sleep will do? You've definitely missed out on that Christmas morning, but we hope that at least you had some jolly festive dreams. For now, you'll have to settle for some jolly festive leftovers. Oh well, there's always next time. Happy holidays, pandas. Hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay tuned for more.